So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Three of Pentacles, and it's with this Eight of Wands. Now, the Three of Pentacles is the card that's above the word pass. Now, it's actually a very good card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work and career questions. But, keep in mind, it's actually a really good overall card in the tarot. It means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles tells you that people around you, they appreciate you, they appreciate your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you're not getting paid for it. It does tell you to keep what you keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right track. Even though there even though there could be some room for improvement, but with the Three of Pentacles, you will not need to scrap something and then start again. Yeah. Now it's with this Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands can be a lot. It can be about a lot of things up in the air. So you could feel frustrated for some of you tired of waiting, but it's an indicator that you just need to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you can do, and now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead, but don't try to force things because it could backfire on you. So this is telling me, Aries, this recent past energy between you and your person is that there was a lot of communication back and forth, back and forth, a lot of talk, text, messaging, maybe phone calls. And if your person was long distance, this person could have been flying in to see you or you flying in to see them. But the Eight of Wands, you see how the bird is flying in the sky, a lot of communication, and it could have had a lot to do with trying to get back on the same page with each other, because the Three of Pentacles can be about teamwork, collaboration, it can be about working things out, it can be about benefits, how you can benefit the person or how they could benefit you. So, yeah, talk, text, messaging, flying in if you two were long distance. Trying to get things back on track. Yeah, so that's a recent past energy between you and your person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So... We got the Three of Swords, and it's with the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Swords, there's actually an element of sorrow. That ugly Three of Swords, that's a card above the word present. Some sadness is involved when you get this Three of Swords in a reading. But what's undeniable is um, some type of hurt. But what's on the other side of this sadness or sorrow or pain can actually be understanding and joy. Enhanced understanding and joy. So, allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up. This way you can move past it. Yeah. Now, when it comes to relationship and love questions... And you get the Three of Swords. Just know that this card does not have to be the end of a relationship. But it does almost always point to relationship difficulty. And in order for the relationship to survive, both parties, they have to be willing to work on the connection and talk a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the Three of Swords is with the Six of Pentacles, which is often a sign of a turn for the better. 
especially when it comes to, um, well, sometimes it could be about money, because it's, it's a, when you, whenever you hear the word pinnacles in tarot, that could indicate money, cash, coins, finance, but since this is a love reading, it could mean things take a turn for the better in the relationship, and it also speaks of equality and fairness. So you could be heading into a very positive cycle. Yeah, it points to happiness, fairness, generous, and a balanced relationship for at least a while. So, Aries, coming up for you and your person, Three of Swords, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Now, because, um, actually, like I said, the Six of Pentacles can be good, but it's with the Three of Swords. So this is telling me coming up for you and your person that there may not, you could find that there may not be a healthy dose of give and take in the connection. And with the Three of Swords here, you might start to feel like you want to close yourself off to this. And you might be hurt or sad or disappointed that um, it's not at a healthy place. Yeah, the give and take is just not there. Now, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or Virgo or a Capricorn with the Six of Pentacles here. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Four of Swords, and it's with the Hierophant. Now, the Four of Swords, as you can see, by just by looking at the picture, it's a card above the word challenge. This man, he's, he's out for the count, and he looks like he took himself up to the top of the mountains with his four dogs and his swords. And it's about rest after struggle. It can signify a break. It could be from a person or a few people or just from normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life. You could feel like they're withdrawing or you could feel like um, they ghosted you for a time. This withdrawal is actually not likely to be permanent, so keep that in mind. It also can mean um, just time away, time in the hospital, you know, just events where, where as you go away and then you come right back. Just keep in mind, it's a sign to give people their space. So you could be needing some time and space to yourself. You could find that others are pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at your take them at their word because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now this four of swords is with the hierophant. Yeah, the hierophant is actually a pretty good card in the deck good card in the tarot. When it comes to love questions, if you're asking about how your person is feeling, well, just know that they love you very deeply. And it's a love that cannot be broken. Now, the Hierophant also could mean that um, someone is searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important personal matters, their intelligence and their empathy puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So this could be you, Aries, or this could be someone coming towards you or someone that you know. They could also be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frankly, they're the real deal, a genuine article, a true blue. They're highly admired individuals. They walk the walk and they talk the talk. They also stand firm 
in their beliefs and convictions. So the challenge, Aries, is that while there's deep love here with the Hierophant, deep love, this could be you feeling a lot of love for your person or your person feeling a lot of love for you. But um, there's some healing that needs to take place with the Four of Swords showing up here. Yeah, someone could take a break. Someone could be um, feeling like they need a break from the connection. Yeah. Um, you could be feeling like you need the connection to be more genuine, more honest and sincere, like the higher event is. You could be feeling like you want your person to be more moral, ethical, and traditional. And like I said, there's some, you could feel like just walking away from this for a little while. Because we did see that, that the two of you could have been trying to get back on the same page. You could feel like the connection is is kind of lost and you might just want to try to heal the connection or just some healing for yourself and try to figure out how to make it more genuine and sincere or you could just be wanting it to be this this way. Yeah. Not a healthy dose of give and take. And you're hurt. You got some sad feelings and emotions about the connection. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And it's with the Tower. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it does point to necessary efforts. That's the card that's above the word outcome. So... You could have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is important and admired, but if you let it work for its own sake, it can actually be counterproductive. So, when you get the Eight of Pentacles, you have to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period, and this doesn't have to be negative, but the thing is, when you get the Eight of Pentacles, you do have to be prepared for it. This Eight of Pentacles is with the Tower. The Tower can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can actually be a disaster. Roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. And this doesn't have to be drastic or dire. Because we all know that change is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it could actually be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, well, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down to earth. This is only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart. Just know that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. So, the outcome, Aries, Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Tower. Well, this is actually, it's an indicator that for some of you, you could feel like there's not enough work being put into it by your person, or just overall, 
to keep it going. And for some of you, because the tower is here, it looks like it, the connection could be crashing down. It could be falling apart. Or for some of you, you feel like it's falling apart. Just, just not enough work and effort that's being put into fixing or healing or just getting the two of you back on the same page. Just not enough. And with the Eight of Pentacles, it's indicating that a lot of work needs to to go back into this situation just to make it work. And it's not being done. And for a lot of you, it comes crashing down. Now, the good thing about the tower is that things do fall apart. Or you could, like I said, you could feel like they're falling apart. But when you do get a tower moment in a reading, um, you, are in, you are enlightened by this disaster. You could be shocked. But you're you're enlightened. You're 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 woken up. You're no longer seeing things through rose tinted glasses, and like I said, you're enlightened. You're finally awakened, and yeah, just know that you can. If things do fall apart for you and your person. Um, you can rebuild with more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. So, Aries, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself. Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this virus season. Hang in there. I think we're all pulling through this. So continue to stay strong. Take good care. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Aries reading. Just in case this one did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also, keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you, and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.